Hey friends, I am Catherine and today's video is going to be a quick one. I have a plan. I have a plan and I'm going to stick to it, okay? Like we are going to just get things done. Um, I have got a bamboo skewer here and I am going to cut it to about seven inches long. I like a good seven inches in a hair stick. I'm making a hair stick by the way. Um, so I'm just going to take and cut it to seven inches long. If I can convince it that these scissors really do mean cutting. There we go. Awesome. And then what else I've got is a bit of white clay and a bit of black clay because we are going to be making a ghosty. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is pinch off about that much white clay. I think that's probably good. And then just roll it into a ball and set it aside. Okay, actually my hands, I, they don't look like they're covered in black, but man did that get black all over that white clay. That's okay. We will just mix it in real quick and then try again. Roll it into a ball. Good. Okay, set it aside. That will live aside there for a moment and then we're going to take our the rest of our white clay, the larger chunk. It's not measured or anything. I'm just making it up and roll it into a sort of oval shape and then bring down one end long and thin ish sort of and actually let's roll that against our work surface so that we can make it even hopefully not too lumpy yeah let's try that over again roll it into a ball ish sort of it's kind of a diamond but whatever it'll work and then roll that down one side so that we end up with this sort of teardrop looking thing it's long and it's teardroppy and then we're going to shape this rounder because that kind of ended up flat ish at the top okay sort of rounder Perfect. Okay, now with our skewer, we're going to press it into one side at about the point where this part starts tapering. So if this were round, I'd press it in right at the bottom of where that was becoming circular and then just kind of close it over that there. Wonderful, can't even tell it happened. And then just take and start bringing this to the side and wrapping it around. Perfect. There we go. Maybe round that out a little bit by rolling it against the table. Hopefully everything turns out. If not, oh well. And then decide which side we like best for the front. I'm thinking that side should be the front. Because the back side ended up a little weird. That's fine. Being quick about it. Right. I'm going to be quick for this video. Okay. So set that down. And then grab our little ball of clay and roll it into like a pill shape. So... That's not working out. Maybe against the table. That's way too long. Shorten that up. Try again. I might have pulled off too much white. Might have pulled off too much for this. That's okay though. We want sort of rounded ends. Sort of a pill shape. There we go. Something like that. Perfect-ish. Close enough. There we go. Okay. Now what we're going to do is take our sculpting knife and cut that in half at
at an angle so that you end up with one half that's angled this way and one half that's angled this way. So we've got a flat edge on each side and I can turn it over and make them match up like that and they're about the same size. Then those are going to become the little ghosty arms. So one down and one up maybe or mm, I'm going to make those smaller. I don't like how big that is. go try that and see how that works out yeah that's better little ghosty arm maybe around over here and then smooth that upwards so that you can't hardly tell where it's joined on at least at the top Perfect. And then think the other side down or up. Well, I'm going to roll that one also a little bit thinner. And then up, maybe? Yeah. We'll do the um, hero's flight pose for it. We'll do the other one up. So we will smooth it down at the bottom part. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Pretty much there. Maybe a little bit more smoothing right there. Okay. Now, we've got a little ball of black over here. We're going to take just a tiny section off and roll it into an itty bitty snake. Just the tiniest little snake. Super thin. Like even thinner than that. Let's cut that thick end off because we're not going to need it. Roll it just the thinnest possible. There we go. Okay. Then cut the end off so that we've got a square end. And then make a length that's like that long. And then a second one that is the same length. So now we've got two sections of black. They're about that long, actually. Just took a piece off with my nail. Oops. That's okay. I will make it the same as the other one and it will be fine like that long there we go okay now we're going to make those smiles okay one is a smile the other one is a smile then we're going to take and just put those on his face upside down for eyes because he is a smiling ghost and I smile upside down. There we go. It's a happy little ghost with happy eyes. And then let's take this rest of this little bit that we rolled out and roll it back into a ball and flatten it out into sort of an oval, hopefully. And, oh, that's not going to lift up well. That's okay. You can lift it up with her knife. And then take and stick it on where his mouth should be. So he has a happy, wooing, ghosty mouth. And There we have it. One ghosty hair stick. Bake it to regular baking for whatever clay you're using. If you're using polymer clay like I am, um, 
and wear it in your hair. I'm gonna go, let's bend him back a little bit so that he's leaning backward just a little bit. There we go. And there's your ghosty. Woo! Thought it would be a quick one, and it sort of was. I put up new videos every day, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and if you did, remember to subscribe, and I will see you all tomorrow. Bye!